Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video from Crypto Busy. My name is Tom, and in today's video, I'll be discussing about Cardano and why you need to focus on this key level here. And I'll be discussing that in further detail later on in the video and a lot more stuff about where I think Cardano might go by the end of this year, by the next bull run, and also in the upcoming years as well. So stay tuned, watch to the very end, and subscribe if you're new. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video. It really helps us out at Crypto Busy. Now, before I actually jump into the video itself, with token metrics at the moment, there is a 40% discount. When you use our link down in the description below, just apply the coupon anniversary 2020 and you get 40 percent off any of the tiers so we'd love to see you over there as well on token metrics it's an amazing resource you can go through any cryptocurrency that's out there on the market and go by its price predictions fundamentals technology you can make your own portfolio and using powerful ai you can predict where your portfolio might be going over the next month it's an amazing resource to use we found it very beneficial to ourselves and it's a great return on investment with token metrics. So if you use our code down in the description below, you also help out the channel at the same time. And on top of that, we'll leave all of our necessary Bybit and our Patreon links down in the description below so you can check that out for yourselves in further detail. Now, into the video. So Cardano itself, you can see it's currently trading at 15 cent of a dollar, which is great to see. It's something I predicted a few weeks ago to see where Cardano might be going. And yes, it's gone past that 10 cents and going up to that 15 cent region. It's hit that 20 cent of a dollar region, which is great to see. So in the recent weeks, it's good to see that healthy price action. Now you will be seeing a bit of a pullback and that is just natural with the way things go in the crypto market. You can see right now, Overall, with the market at the moment, you've got that Bitcoin dominance of 62%, which is nice to see. It's still a little bit high, in my opinion. You know, you want to see the rest of the altcoins do well, but at the same time, you want to you want Bitcoin to do well as well. And as I've been saying in many of my videos, you know, when the Bitcoin price goes up, the Bitcoin dominance tends to go up. And then if it stays the same, that Bitcoin dominance does fall. And you see some of that capital flow into the altcoins. And that's where you're seeing some of these crazy returns on XRP. And also, most importantly, with today's video, with Cardano. So it's 14% up on the daily. It's up 20% on the weekly, which is nice to see. So let's jump into the charts real quick and see what I'm talking about with this key level. Now, this key level I'm talking about is the 20 cent of a dollar region. So I'm just going to get rid of this circle that you can see here at the moment. Now, this chart you can see here with Cardano versus the US dollar. Um, I'll just draw another line on there just for a second. So you can see here on the Cardano versus US dollar chart, you can see at the moment that the major key level for Cardano is to go past that 20 cent of a dollar region and it hit it the other day, pretty much hit it. And in my opinion, that is where the major resistance level for Cardano is in the short term. So you can see in the purple, in the yellow, and also in the green, these are three major levels for Cardano itself, which you need to keep an eye on when you're trading Cardano, when you're investing in it as well. So for the time being for myself, I'm just take, taking a step away from the market to see where what it might be doing in the next few weeks. I do think, I do expect to see some form of pullback or some form of correction just because that's a, that's a healthy price action for altcoins, for Bitcoin, for everything that you'll see in the market at the time being. Um, but you know, on the other side to that, it's good price action for the time being. You can see at the moment that the candlesticks are closing above the 20 moving average, also the 100 moving average and the 200 moving average as well. So on paper, what that means is, is that whenever the candlesticks close above those lines, it is relatively bullish. And when they close below those lines, it is relatively bearish. So those are the things there as well. So where do I think it might be going in the next few weeks? I do think it'd be range trading between the 10 cent and the 20 cent region. It might go dip below, just below that 10% region or that 10 cent region, just to see where things might go. This major support area in this purple is the, well, you know, the five cent and going up to the one cent. And I, I don't think that'll be happening anytime soon. We've come out of that region early this year and then, you know, gaining good momentum. So what I'd like to know is I'd like to know your thoughts down in the comments below about what I've been saying today about my technical analysis into Cardano itself. Just keep an eye out for Cardano testing that 20 cent of a region again, because these are important times for the crypto markets. And you also have to keep an eye out for what Bitcoin will be doing over the next few weeks as well, because Bitcoin at the moment is, is pretty much dominating and dictating where the rest of the market will go. And so what we're doing at CryptoVizzy to keep you guys up to date is that we're posting two videos a day throughout the whole of December, just to see how you guys like that. And I think we just some initial testing already for this past week and you guys are loving the content that we're putting out recently so thank you so much for that 
Also on top of that, thank you so much for the 50,000 subscribers. It's an amazing milestone, so um, it's quite something. So thank you so much for that. And uh, we realize that is you know, quite a lot of responsibility on our end, so we want to make sure that we deliver the best content to you. So um, you know, by doing this, by upping the videos to two videos a day, uh, hopefully we can answer all the necessary questions that you may have and also keep you guys up to date in the crypto market. So uh, with that, we'll be doing more videos about that and talk about the Bitcoin price in other videos as well. So on top of that as well, Cardano climbs 10% as investors gain confidence. I'll leave these articles, as I always do, linked down in the description below so you can check it out for yourselves in further detail. Um, you know, this is good stuff for Cardano in the recent months and also in the recent weeks as well. Uh, the, the CEO of Cardano himself is Charles Hoskinson. He is a fascinating guy. He's really interesting. Um, he's got a lot of cool opinions as well. Um, he's also I also follow him on Twitter uh, and he sometimes does these sort of daily updates or weekly updates on just you know the world in general, but also on Cardano as well. Um, so going into December, I do think Cardano might be reaching, again, that range trading between the 10 cent and the 20 cent. Where do I think it might go for next year? Well, I anticipate and a lot of people in the crypto community anticipate that uh, we'll be going into another bull run into 2021. So in a bull run scenario, um, I do think that Cardano can go it to its all-time high. So that's something like $1.30, something like that. Uh, certainly above the $1 region. And you know, if we're sort of in a really bullish bull run, then I do think it can go higher than that, possibly even $2, reaching into the $5 territory as well. Um, but that's sort of in a, a, a long-term or medium-term uh, prediction of where I think things might go because there's a lot of things going for Cardano. It's an amazing uh, piece of technology. They're doing great partnerships as well uh, across the world and they're being implemented as well. Um, it's a great competitor to Ethereum at the time being. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of good stuff happening for Cardano. Uh, but on the other side to that, so you've got to have that level mindset when it comes to investing. Um, you know, try and not sit on the fence, but try and pick a side and, you know, decide where, but also most importantly, when to enter the market itself. So here's another article talking about the Cardano price might be facing a steeper correction, suggests the technicals. And the reason being, if we just go back onto the charts, the reason being is because it's tested that 20 cent of a dollar region. It is corrected from that and it's going to retest as well. So if it does retest and reject it again, then we would be seeing lower lows just in the short term. So that's another thing I want to mention in today's video as well. Now on top of that, Cardano and Litecoin discuss velvet fork to achieve interoperability. Now this is an interesting thing. This is where we kind of, kind of combine uh, two technologies, two cryptocurrencies together and and you know, get the best of both worlds out of that. Um, so following the bullish sentiment in the market, Litecoin and Cardano have had a week of significant gains. And at the time this article has been published, uh, Cardano and also Litecoin has reached their annual highs of 16 cents and well, you know, they're probably a bit higher than that on other exchanges and $90 respectively. Introduction to the Lightning webinar series, Litecoin Foundation, David Schwartz, spoke about the project with great potential to further boost the price of the cryptocurrencies. So, you know, they want to create a bridge between the two and I think combining the technologies together, that would be quite something. So I'd love to know what your opinions are down in the comments below. Comment down below, all comments are welcome and I'll be also be responding to some of your comments down below as well. So make sure that you leave a comment, leave a like, and again, if you're new here, subscribe to the Creative Busy community today. So to go with that as well, Cardano Project Catalyst on Google Play Store will drive mass adoption. This is quite something. I find it quite interesting as well, um, the idea of the Project Catalyst. So this is a voting app and it's called Catalyst and it's from Cardano itself and it was published in the Google Play Store. So through Catalyst, users can vote for initiatives to drive mass adoption to help shape the roadmap. This is really interesting stuff for the Cardano project, but most importantly, on the wider scale as well. As what we've been seeing in the United States and in other uh, democracies across the world is uh, voting, especially voting in today's world with all these lockdowns that we're seeing at the moment. How does one vote if they can't physically get to the voting station? And uh, one way of doing that would be to vote on the blockchain itself and have it so secure in such a way. Now, there's two sides to this. It can be acceptable to be hacked, which is not a good thing. Uh, but at the same time, you get an immediate result, you get an instant result. And so you won't get a situation, which like you're seeing in the States at the moment, where you know the results can be a bit contested and you're not particularly too sure whether things might go one way or the other. So voting on the blockchain, voting digitally may give that instant gratification for either side and say, well, yes, this is definitely what's going to happen. So that's another thing as well. I haven't sort of given my full opinion on that just yet because I'm still developing it. But again, I'd love to know what you guys had to say about that as well. Can voting be on the blockchain? Or we see governments across the world putting their votes on the blockchain. I'd love to know what you guys have to say about that. And again, I'll be responding to some of the comments down below as well.
So that's Cardano itself. That's where I think it might be going. That's some technical analysis into where I think it might be going for the next few weeks and also months. So my opinion is that I'm going to be holding back for the time being and entering at a different time. Um, but I do think a lot of good stuff is happening for Cardano technically, but also fundamentally as well. A lot of good stuff. Yeah. So in that short term, I do think it'll be range trading between 10 to 20 cents. And in the long term, I do think it can reach its all time highs, potentially even reaching $5 as well. Lots of good stuff happening for Cardano. Uh, and so, yeah. Long may it continue. Don't forget to join our Crypto Busy VIP coin calls. It's $25 a month plus VAT. We'd love to see you join that as well. It's a great opportunity to have that competitive edge in the crypto market. Also with that, the token metrics, we have that 40% discount at the moment. It's amazing to see. Anniversary 2020. If you use our link down in the description below, you get 40% off. And again, we'll leave all of our necessary Bybit links down in the description below. So you can check it out for yourselves in further detail. Um, so that's Cardano, that's the market, and that's it for me in today's video. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter. We'd love to see you on over there on that. And again, if you're new here and you haven't subscribed, subscribe today and join the CryptoBZ community. Lots more videos coming your way this month. So that's it for me in today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.